Hey fools, and welcome to Two Stocks Making the News. I'm joined as ever by Mark Rogers. Hey Mark. Hey Chris. Happy New Year. You too. Thank you. And uh, yeah, so who's up first? HSBC. But okay. Really, the news is is quite broadly about all of the uh, European listed banks. Uh, we had a, a report in the FT uh, that supposedly the European Commission is putting forth proposals to go perhaps maybe a bit softer than originally expected mm -hmm. in terms of banking reform. Okay. So what could that mean for, for all banking shareholders, really? Well, apparently there's going to be a bit more national discretion in terms of how the rules are applied. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, there's a, a sort of a, a hidden extra in there that it's possible that sort of similar to the uh, Volcker rule in the US mm -hmm. uh, proposed, that there might still be restrictions on proprietary trading uh, even if deposits are ring-fenced. So okay. um, the news to consider that for, for HSBC shareholders, uh, it's offering a perspective yield of 4.8%, so you, wow. in terms of whether or not that risk is reflected, mm -hmm. but big news. Yeah, absolutely, and uh, obviously, so yeah, very interesting news there. Um, and now on to Sainsbury's. Now, right. I've had a pretty good year, in fairness, but uh, news coming out today that it might be slightly a, a rockier road ahead. Well, the they, next have their, few weeks. they have the results out on Wednesday. They're going to tell us how they did over the Christmas period. Uh, analysts are sort of suggesting at the moment that it's possible that they could have their first decline in like-for-like like sales in nine years uh, in these these upcoming results. So a few slightly negative uh, possibilities there in terms of what analysts are expecting. Absolutely. And so is there something, is there a bigger picture to consider here? Has any other of the supermarkets noticed anything similar? Or? Yeah, well, actually, Asda, have, uh, Walmart owned Asda, have, mm -hmm. have come out and, and said that they had record UK Christmas numbers, 4.8 million shoppers. Um, but they did warn that trading for all the food retailers has been very tough. And so in terms of the read through there for, for Sainsbury's, um, again, you, ha you have to look at it and say um, they might have had a, a very good run uh, in the last few years, but uh, tough times uh, being reported here by these analysts. Absolutely. So there you go. So word is coming out that, again, tough times for, uh, for the supermarkets after Christmas. So thanks very much, Mark. Thanks no very problem. much for joining Thank us. You. We'll see you very soon.